I came across this article on the web and I got kind of interested in seeing what this fellow, Justin James, recommends on five HTML editors for the web. One of the first things that caught my eye in this article was a Microsoft product, Microsoft Expression Web. I thought I'd explore that. The other editors that are recommended, Dreamweaver, I've heard about, Coffee Cups HTML Editor, never heard about, Aptana, haven't heard about, and HTML Kit Tools, I haven't heard about, but that's not surprising because I teach computer science, I don't develop professional websites. What I really got interested in was exploring Microsoft Expression for the Web. Microsoft had a product named Front Page and then just yanked it in some recent version of the operating system. Expression Web came very highly recommended by this fellow. If you read these comments, you'll find that he's recommending this over the others. I created an easy to use URL alias for this website that you're looking at here. It's appearing on the bottom of the screen right now. If you enter that alias, zoom to me, slash 5web, you'll get to this page without having to worry about the complex URL here. But here's something that's kind of disappointing. When I clicked this link to get to Microsoft Expression Web's website to investigate the free download, I get to this page that talks about Expression Web 4, but when I go to Try Now, I get some sort of maintenance website that talks about all sorts of updates. Since I'm going to recommend this to my students as part of a project, this is kind of disappointing because this is going to be very confusing. So I made this quick video just to be able to show you where you really do have to go. This website, Try Now, is not going to get you where you want to go. This link in the article points to something that Microsoft hasn't properly set up. But there is a place on Microsoft where you can get these downloads. If you go to this website, which I just happened to blunder into by way of some discussion board also on the Microsoft website, this does appear to be the place you want to go to find downloads for products that you can try out. And here's where the download is for the two versions of Expression Studio 4 that are currently offered. I set up a URL alias for this page. It's now appearing at the bottom of the screen. It's zoomed to me slash exp4. I'm going to click on this download for the web professional trial. I've investigated both of these. This trial is 265 megabytes. This thing is about half the size. And here finally you do get to a screen that offers Microsoft Expression Web 4 for a free trial. If you click this button you will be able to download this trial product and as the bottom of this website indicates your trial version of Expression Web 4 expires after 60 days. If you want to get directly to this screen, the URL alias at the bottom of the screen now, zoom to me slash EW4, will get you directly to this screen at least as of October the 31st, 2011. Anything on the web can change at any time. That's why I've given you these three URL aliases, which I'm summing up on the slide that follows.